In this video, we're going to be looking at this problem, find leaves of binary tree. So looking at the example, what it wants us to do is to collect the trees nodes as if we're doing this. So first we collect the leaf nodes, four, five, three, then we remove them, then we collect the remaining leaf nodes, which in this case is two, then we remove it, then we collect the remaining leaf nodes, which in this case is one, and we do this until the tree is empty. So if we look at the output, we want to return a list of lists where each list is the collection of all the leaf nodes at that level. Let's first try to break this question down. When we say all the leaf nodes at each level, what are we talking about exactly? So for example, what do the four, five, and three nodes have in common? So what we're looking for is the height of the node. So recall that height of the node is the number of edges from the node to its deepest leaf. So the height of a leaf node is therefore zero. So the height of four, five, and three would be zero. The height of two is one. Height of the one node is two, going down one, two, and four. So we can define the height of a node recursively. Height of a node is equal to the maximum between the height of its left node and the height of its right node, plus one. And then the base case here is that the height of a null node is negative one. So this makes sense, since for a leaf node, its left node is null, so its height is negative one. Its right node is null, so its height is also negative one. So then the height of the leaf node is maximum between negative one and negative one, which is negative one, plus one, which is zero. Now let's take a first approach at this problem. We can initially think about traversing through the tree via depth first search. And let's just say that the way that we're, the ordering we're doing is post order traversal. Then we can come up with a height value pair for each node. And then at this point, all we have to do is sort the height value pairs by height in increasing order. then we just have to collect all the pairs values in which their heights are the same. And that's gonna give us the answer. Let's see this in action and let's traverse through the tree using post order traversal, which if you recall is left right root. So let's start off with a pairs empty list. So then first we get four whose height is zero. So then we add the pair is zero, four. Then five, whose height is zero. So then we add the pair zero, five. Since this is post order, then we go left, right, root. So then we put the node two, whose height is one. So we put one, two. Then we get to node three, whose height is zero. So we put zero, three. And then finally we get to the one node whose height is two, so we put two, one. Then we sort this list of pairs by height. Then we can get the result by iterating through this list, collecting all the pairs values by the same height. So the result, let's start off with an empty list. Well, we're gonna see four, five, and three. So then we're gonna have a list of four, five, and three, then two, and then one. Great, so we do have a solution here. So now let's look at the time and space complexity. So traversing through the tree, that's gonna be traversing through n nodes, so then that's O n. Then sorting the pairs list is gonna be O n log n. And then iterating through the pairs list again is gonna be O n. So then the time complexity is going to be O n log n. And then in terms of space, since we're saving a pair for each node, that's n pairs, so our space complexity is on. So this is great, but can we do better? So here the bottleneck on time is when we sort the height value pairs. If we can just not do this o n log n step, then we can reduce our time to o n. And we can indeed do this. So instead of collecting a list of height value pairs, which we have to sort later on, why don't we at each node, once we know its height, we just insert that value into the result list directly. So then with this approach, we're gonna do something that's more like this. 
So first we're gonna traverse through the tree as usual. And then we're gonna add the value at each node to result at index height. So keep in mind, height is a list. Uh, since result is a list of lists. And then the edge case here is that we just have to be careful making sure that if result at index height is null, we have to first initialize it to be an empty list. And then th let's see this in action. So result is initially an empty list. So we get to four, height is zero. So then we create a new list at index zero, and then we add four to it. Then five, height is zero. So we add five to the, this list at index zero, then two, height is one. So then we need to create a new list at index one and then add two to it. Then three, height is zero. So we add three to the list at index zero. And then finally at one, its height is two. So we create a new list at index two, then we add one to it. And then we're done. So in terms of time complexity, we're still traversing through each node, that's ON. Adding a new list to the resulting list is O1. Also adding a value to that list is O1. So overall we're getting ON time. And since the resulting list is going to have exactly N individual items, we're gonna get ON space as well. Great, now let's implement this in Java. Okay, let's start off by importing the array list and list classes from java.util. We're gonna create the resulting list, which is gonna be a list of list of integers. So now let's define the recursive helper function. Let's call it get height, which is going to return the height of a tree node. And then we're also going to pass in the resulting list. So keep in mind, since this is Java, we're going to be passing objects by reference. So this isn't going to take up like additional memory or anything. So to begin with, we've already defined that if the node is null, the base case is that its height is negative one. And we also know that the height is going to be defined recursively. So it's going to be the maximum between the height of its left node and then the height of its right node. Remember to pass in the result. And then plus one. So now let's handle the edge case where at index height in the result list, we don't yet have an empty list there yet. So what we can do is we can just check if the resulting list size is equal to the height. Take a minute to convince yourself that this makes sense. But the reason I'm gonna give is that if you think about it, because of this recursive structure, we're always going to be inserting in these lists in the order of height from 0, 1, 2, and so on. And then by the time we get to another node whose height is also 0, 1, or so, or so on, that list already exists. And then of course, we're going to add the value to that list as we mentioned. And we can return the height. Now back in find leaves, we're going to get height starting from the root. And what's going to happen is that get height is going to recursively call itself. It's going to populate result. So we can just return result. Great. Now let's run this. And cool. You'll see that it passes. All right. So that's how you solve this question. Find leaves of binary tree.